Facebook or Meta Business Suite is a great platform to manage your Facebook pages and your Instagram account in one dashboard. The best part is that it absolutely comes at free of cost. You can create posts, schedule stories, run ads and do so much more. Let me jump into my screen and show you how it works. The first thing you will do is go to business.facebook.com and then click create account. If you already have a Facebook account, enter your email address, your password and click login. If you don't have a Facebook account, you can click create a new account. I already have a Facebook account, so I will click log in and that's it. So there you go. As you can see, my account has been connected with their business manager. And when I click over here, I can see all of the pages that currently exist in my Facebook account. Or you can click create new account and enter your first name, your last name, your mobile address, your password, date of birth, your gender and click sign up. Then you will receive a code on your email address, which you have to paste it over here. Once I put in my code, I will click continue. And as you can see, our account has been confirmed. So I'll click OK. So now that we have our Facebook account ready, I will go to pages and I will create a new page or you can simply click Meta Business Suite and create a Facebook page. And then you have to enter the name of your page. So let's call this as cloth and then enter the category. So I'll put that as fashion designer, add a little description and click create page. And now you can add your profile picture as well. So I'll click over here and I do have my logo. I'll just paste it like that. And then you can add a really nice cover photo as well. And once that looks good, you're going to hit the save button. You also have an option to connect your Facebook page to WhatsApp by entering your phone number over here. And that way, if you want your clients to reach out to you directly on WhatsApp, you can do that as well. I'll hit close for now and I'll hit leave. All right, so that's our page. And if you want, you can also edit more information. You can add the website address, the about section services. You can update your Facebook page. And once you do that, you will click Meta Business Suite. And then you will come to this section where you will have access to so many different tools that will make the process of managing your business a lot more easier. The next thing I want to show you guys is how you can connect your Instagram account and Facebook account on the Business Suite and manage it together. So I went to Instagram.com and then I will click login with Facebook. Since my account is already integrated with my Facebook account, I'll just click continue. So then you'll come to this page where it's going to ask you about the sign up process. It's going to give you a bit more context. So I'll click yes, finish setup and then enter your username over here. So our store name is clothes. So we'll keep it that way. I'll enter a password and I will click sign up. All right. So my Instagram account has been created. Next, I'm just going to add a profile picture to my Instagram page. So now I want this Instagram account to be linked to my Meta Business Suite. So for that, I need to convert this account either to a business account or a creator account. Uh, if you try to go with a personal account like this one, Facebook will eventually ask you to switch. So I'll click my profile icon over here. I will click settings. So then I will click switch to professional account. And over here we have two options, creator and business. I will select business. Then I will click next. Then I'll just make sure I read through it. I'll click next. And then I will select a category. So I'll put that as clothing brand and click done. And then you have to enter your contact information. I don't want to do that right now. So I'll click don't use my contact info. And as you can see, my Instagram business account is ready. So I will click done. So I will go to my business suite. I'll click all tools, then click page setting, then go down till you find Instagram button over here. Then you have to click connect account and then read through this and click continue. And then you will come to this page where it's going to prompt you to connect to the account. And if it is not uh, the Instagram account you want to connect with, you can click switch accounts and enter your information and follow the prompts. So this looks good to us and we will click continue. And that's it. So as you can see, our account information has been linked to our business suite. So that is good. So now I can manage this account and my Facebook account simultaneously. So now I will go back 
to my business suite and as you can see i have my instagram page over here my facebook page right over there uh this is our home page i'll give you a rough summary of what it is so over here you can manage your facebook page you can always click over here access your instagram account as well uh, we have a tab over here which you can use to create posts create story create ad as well then when you scroll down you will see your task so over here you can add your daily to-do list or like a to-do task that you want to keep track of so let's say we want to reply to all the comments you can do that as well i can add a little detail then i can also set a due date by 9th of june and i can also set a reminder in one day and i can hit save task and there you go now every time i log into my business suite i know what all things i need to accomplish makes the process a lot more simpler and then we have a little section over here that shows the insight and the trends that have been seen over a certain period of time so this is a really nice home page where you can get information on different aspects of uh, managing your social media then i have the notifications tab over here where any notifications like any likes dislike comment everything will be displayed on this section next we have the inbox tab over here so when i click this i will come to this page where i can see all the messages that we have received in this account through instagram uh, through facebook i can also see the comments that have been made and the good thing is that i can manage all of these aspects in this one platform which makes the process a lot more faster so i can just be like hey i'm gonna reply to all the facebook comments in like 30 minutes so i will have all the comments listed out over here so i can reply them in like 30 minutes get it done with instead of me checking every single post on facebook and then replying to each one of them and doing the same for instagram this just makes the process a lot more faster you can also set certain automations so when i click over here i will come to this page um, where i can set like automated reply so if i want an instant reply i can turn it on then you will select the channel you would like to use this automation so i'll put that as facebook messenger and then when this happens so when uh, somebody sends us a message on facebook this is the automated message they shall receive so it's like hi thank you for contacting us we received your message and appreciate you getting in touch so we can edit that as well we'll get back thanks for waiting and yeah we can edit the message and we can hit the save button so what's going to happen is that every time somebody sends us a message on a facebook page asking about something so there will be a instant automated reply that says thank you for contacting us and all of this fun stuff so you can play around with this you can get really creative with this um, if you want you can also create like your own uh, questions and automated reply that you want to set up the next tool that we have is post and stories so on my left hand side i have the post section over here so i can see the post that has been made so far um, i can also see the date it was published the reach the engagement likes and reaction comments shares and all of that if i click scheduled i can see all the posts that has been scheduled the draft post will be listed on this section when i click stories i can also see the active stories the scheduled stories and all of that jazz I can also see my feed and greed so over here i can get a good visual of what my facebook and instagram page would look like uh, once all the posts are made i also have facebook photos over here so these are the photos that have been uh, stored in your facebook account essentially you also have an a and b testing over here which is where you can create a and b test and see how the consumers react to different posts um, at different parameters i would normally use hootsuite when i have to schedule posts and that would cost me like 49 dollars or something like that um, approximately and i love that this tool created by facebook is so good so easy to use and it's also free so it would save me so much money so i'm really happy about that so let's say we want to schedule a post so i will click create post and then you will select the placement so whether you want this post to be scheduled on instagram or facebook i'll select both of them and then over here enter your text copy all right so i wrote a nice copy that says hurry we are offering flat 50 percent off on all the sweatpants link in the bio the next thing i want to show you guys is the hashtag tool which is so cool so let's say if i want to put hashtag sale right 
so it shows me different hashtag options and it also shows me the number of posts that has been made for a certain hashtag which is so so important and i really like that feature i think it's really cool it also helps you target certain hashtag that has one of the largest post made around it and it will also help you rank better and get more exposure so that's a really cool tool um, and the next thing I would do is add media so you can add a photo video or you can use a template as well I'll click add photo then you can upload it from your desktop so I already have created like a sample picture so I'll click that over here and I will click upload all right so that looks good everything is okay for now and over here you can see a little visual of your post on the desktop news feed you can also see it on the mobile news feed for facebook you can also click instagram tab over here to see how your post shall look like on instagram interface so that's amazing and if i want i can hit publish and it will be published right away or i can click optimal times and basically schedule the post um, Facebook might also suggest to you certain times during which you should make the post where you may get more engagement so let's say I want to schedule this post on 4th of June at 11 37 a.m. same goes for Instagram I want them to be posted on the same time so I will click save and that's it so as you can see our post has been scheduled so I will click over here and now I will come to my uh, content calendar page, which is a really great tool. So I can see what my uh, social media plan would look like for an entire week, an entire month, the posts that are uh, coming up. So that's a nice way to stay organized as well. So now I switch to a different active account that um, we have already been using with Meta Business Suite last year and I wanted to show you guys some metrics of a functioning uh, account so that's why I switched it um, so when you click ads over here on this section you can uh, create an ad for your business you can see what's working what's not working you don't really have to go and open a different tab just to manage your ads you can do everything in this one page so that's really good and I will click create ad and then you can select the goal of your ad whether you want to get more clicks more website visitors if you want to boost an instagram post you can do that as well so let's say if i want to boost an instagram post i can do that and over here they're going to suggest you some instagram posts that you have already published on your website that you can pick it from so let's take a look at this one and let's say i want to boost this post so i will click over here and then you will come to this page where you're going to see a little preview of the ad and over here it's it's going to ask you the result you want to get from this ad so i want to get more website visitors so i will click that and then you can select the button label so whether if you want them to learn more shop now book now sign up or visit the instagram profile you can also select the audience that you want to be targeting so when you click the pencil icon you can give a name to your audience select the gender so if you just want to target men or just women so this is a women's clothing item so let's say we want to go for just women and if you want them to be within a certain age range I'll select that as well you can also enter the location so let's say I strictly want them to be Canadian and if you want to go bit more deeper into detailed targeting you can do that as well and when you put all of the setting you will get a assessment from Facebook that will show you the estimated audience size that you have a potential to reach so once that looks good you're gonna hit the save audience button and then over here you can set the schedule date and the duration during which you want this ad to be shown and also you can set the daily budget so over here it's gonna give you an estimate reach that you can have per day based on the budget you set up so let's say if i put that as five dollars i can reach 331 to 967 people per day and on this section you can also see the daily uh, clicks you might get so if you're reaching approximately 900 people you can get 11 to 42 clicks and then all you have to do is select the payment method you can click add payment method and follow the prompts um, and on this section you can see the budget as well so if you're spending five dollars a day for six days it's going to be 30 cat the tax would be 3.90 cat the total amount is 33.90 canadian dollars once you do all of that you can hit 
boost post now button or you can schedule it for a certain date as well and that way you can create a really nice ad for your business and here you can see the ad summary the reach you had the engagement link clicks and the page likes as well the next step that I want to show you is insights. So this is a great way to see what all has happened in your account. So in the overview section, you can see the page reach you had, the Facebook page reach, Instagram reach. Um, you can also have more context on the audience that is interacting with your post. When I click results, I can have more introspect into what's working and what's not working with my paid campaigns or with my organic campaigns as well. When you click all tools over here, you're going to see all the tools that are available on this platform. We also have a tool known as instant forms, which is where you can create a form and have like your own CRM setup, uh, which can be used for lead generation. Overall, I feel this is a great business tool to manage your social media accounts. And if you're looking for an all in one platform that you can use to do so many different things with your social media, absolutely for free, of course, then you need to check out Meta Business Suite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Thank you for watching and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye.